Ahoy there, boyos! This is Captain Bugman speaking, and welcome to Let's Play Off. Um, I don't really know too much about this game. Uh, I've seen partial uh, part parts of videos of people playing this game, and I figured, wow, that's an it. That's a weird-looking game. I might as well give it a shot. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So let's. Uh, there we go. It's hard to read. Please exit the game and install the font files. Already did that, because it said so in, I don't know, the readme or so, one of the text files that came in the folder. Cautioned, it is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public, or maybe not. Musical pieces and sound effects are important for the game. Shame to play without them. Well, that's, it's a good thing I've got audio on then. After my name. Where's the B? Why is... Why did I think B was so hard to find? Oh, the left half... Okay, wow. I'm out of it tonight. Apparently. What? Oh, okay. It just looked like it was trying to erase the M there. A... N. Why are there spaces there, though? You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it as is. Yes. That's, those went away. I am a boy. I believe so. Yeah, let's go with the yeah. Assigned to a being called the Better. The Better has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. More information from the one called the Judge. All right, let's go find this, uh, this Judge. Budgie, where are you? Not that I can really find. Ah, okay, now I can. To move my body, use the arrow keys on my keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Ah, so I can just, I can just use space. Okay, that's cool. It's a bit more dual-handed that way. I don't feel like I'm wasting an entire left hand. Zone zero. Okay, it's a kitty. Really toothy kitty. Okay, there cannot be any other living, <laughs> cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero. So I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory in interlocutor. Wow, that's no idea what that word means. I'll be honest. I'm the batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Bugman. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. That I can! I can hear and see everything. I can converse with you, but I guess you're not hearing anything. Even though you do are but an inex... inexistent... Oh, God. Why is reading... <laughs> like, I can read that. It's just weird. It's a weird font. I'll give it that much. It's, but an inexistent apparition in my eyes. Let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Bugman. Yay! Someone's happy to see me. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But well, what sort of service might could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred... <laughs> Very insistent on this. I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. And then you just leave us on our own. Okay. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Okay. What's in here? 4-4... Four, four, B? 8? To, you know, I'm gonna guess that's an eight. Four four eight two eight seven C. Two eight seven C. Eight two eight seven C. Okay. A luck ticket has been found. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you, in fact, be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so. Yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is a relatively bizarre, I must... No, this is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this new... 
Inlu? Eh, one of those. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exists other zones. And in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? I'm never one to say no to this sort of thing. Purification in progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can ob observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to skip through this because it seems to be a rather simple kind of uh, battle method. Why am I looking over there? You're over here, but I need to focus on you. Strategic place choices. Flee is obviously flee. Choose a new. Off me with your bet. Okay, no, don't want to have him take his secrets to the grave. Okay. Avoid the barrage. Oh, critical hits. Okay, that's a thing. Yes, there was another window. Four new... Oh, there was an arrow there. Four new options, I guess. Okay, competence is skills. Objects is items. The opportunity to flee. Okay. Slowly the better is responsible. Ooh, do I get new party members? That'd be cool. Well, that's an object. Okay. Got another luck ticket. Objects. Cover is a moderate amount of HP. Okay. Not, not yet addressed. Competences. Blah, 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 blah. Competence points, which I have 43 of. That seems a tad high. Okay. Yes, yes, I recovered it. 100 health? Goodness. Oh, enemies characters. Okay. An, odd an odd appearing cryptic cat. 300 HP, 30 CP. You now know not only all about me, but also the art of combat. Just be based on the start of the battle. Okay, so he starts with 300 health. Okay. Confrontation ends. Your team or all of your opponent's team falls to zero. Yay. Okay. Okay. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capacity of dealing but bat blows to an innocent cat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Whoa. Dude just flew. Ah yes, to pass through here, you need to know your cerebr need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. Yeah, I can see it. It's one, two, three, four, four. Yawn! That was easy. Oh, whoopsies. Yeah, you're basically... Okay, one, two, six, eight, two, three. Now shoot two. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Probably gonna wrap around and go five, six. Yes, reading it like a book. Okay, eight, two, three. Man, puzzles cannot stop me. Oh, shoot, I forget what it was supposed to be. Aha! Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. Is he just like flailing his face back and forth in it? Crunch num num crunch. Oh, and this thing really. Oh, this piece of uh, silver flesh. Okay. okay, good. I'm right here. Okay, four four eight two eight seven C. Okay, so it's probably like a calculator. Then one two three four four five six seven eight 
287C. Ha! Ah, well, that was easy. There is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your pure fan quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. I'll be honest, I have literally no idea exactly what I just read there. Something about its color. That's about it. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of an undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and confidence points. Ooh, that's nice. Full heal. Like, full heal everything. It is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. Not so sure I like that last one. The nothing li yeah. Nothingness is... <laughs> yeah, I know. Com completely, uh... Good looking pose right there. The nothingness is a lieu of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. Oh, okay, so it's basically just a travel method. I now invite you to try it out in order to th discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry, I do travel a lot through the t I don't think he's worrying. Did you see that okay? It was so bland. Do not worry, I do travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, by the way, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? No, you did not, but now I know. The Leo card has been found. Okay. For flesh. Restores CP. Cool. Silver flesh. Okay. Okay, so that allows me to check my competences. Hang on a second. Put myself with anything? Okay, I have a bat. Defensive stuff, special stuff, which I really haven't picked up anything of. Status. Whole bunch of things. Okay. Active. Waiting. Never mind. Screw that. No idea what it does, gonna leave it alone. Health points and confidence points restored completely. Let's save! Woo! Okay, I've got a little more time. Let's go ahead and keep going. Yes, back to the nothingness. Woo. So that's zone one. What's this? The room? To enter, you need the adequate zodiac card. Zone three, zone two. Is there a thing I passed? I thought I passed a thing. Ah, well. Okay, this is, uh... A little funky. <laughs> Making my spine tingle. Because I am an avid saver. Let's go ahead and save again. People! Tree number one is a really useful means of transport to get about zone one. Okay. Is that Elson at the top? I think that says Elson. Let's go to Damien. <laughs> I sneezed. I don't know why I have to announce it every time. You can see it happening. Well, at least this time you can see it happening. You can normally hear it happening. But yeah, sneezing. That's a thing I do. Train number two hasn't been active for a long time. Cool? Um, uh, a visitor? Hi, um, welcome to the smoke mines. Smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an expector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I, who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Bugman. Ah, uh, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I am going to explain your task. That's... Okay. 
Um, y you're at the smoke mines of Damien, the southern part of Zone One. What the hell am I look? Oh, it's all mining stuff, but like literal mining. Here, you send workers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Okay. Why are you collecting smoke? Thanks to a variety of tools, we were able to put some of it into bottles, which the Queen sends to the other zones. Seriously, though. Why? The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, uh, so we can live. Question answered! Very important! Okay. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Smoke's an element. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Uh, there we are. And so, finally, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? <laughs> Man, one track mind to this guy. Uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines. They're becoming more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines. Because because the regulations forbid visitors to access them. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went in there some time ago, and he saw something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So I thought, maybe it's the chief of the specters. Uh, so there's your task. If you accept, you'll go into the annex tunnel and kill the chief of the specters. Then the specters will disappear, and we can work properly again. There we go. There we, um... Do you have any questions? No. Ah, great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. I'll wait here. Okay, well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to wrap this up because I wanted to. I don't want to take too long for this. But this looks like a weird game, and I like weird. Given the world map, we'll see how long I'm saying that, but <laughs> for now, I like weird. This looks like a fun game, so... I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is Captain Bugman, signing off.